What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're looking at three rehab exercises for an acute ankle sprain. So this is basically an ankle sprain that's occurred in the last week or two. So if that's something you're struggle with, stay tuned for today's exercises. The ankle sprain we're looking at today is really the most common variation of an ankle sprain, which is an inversion ankle sprain. It's when people land and their foot turns in. And what happens when the ankle turns in like that is it can stretch and tear these ligaments right out here that connect basically our lower leg to our foot. So this is the most common type of ankle sprain. There's a ton of them, almost 15,000 a day in the United States. So it's really the most common orthopedic injury. And we're going to look at exercises for this inversion ankle sprain. You can have eversion ankle sprains too, and these exercises can be used for that too. But we're really going to focus and be more specific, specific towards inversion ankle sprains. So for this first exercise, we're going to want to strengthen two of the muscles out here. There's two muscles that run on the outside of the leg. They come down and they help stabilize this lateral part of the ankle. And so if we injure the ligaments, we want to strengthen the muscles and tendons that support that side. And these two muscles are called the fibularis longus and fibularis brevis or peroneal muscles. So to strengthen them, we're going to use a band. So what I'm going to do is you're going to sit down and I've got a piece of TheraBand here. You can get this at most physical therapy clinics. You can even just order a box of it online. But what you'll do is take a long piece of it and tie a loop in it. And then that loop is going to go around the top part of your foot, your forefoot. And if my right ankle is injured, I'm going to hold it with my left arm. And then I'm going to straighten my left leg and create some tension in that band. So it kind of wraps from my injured side around the uninjured side. And then what I'm going to do is that ankle, I'm going to kind of choke up on it so there's some tension. I'm going to let my ankle slowly come into that inversion position. Just be careful. Don't let the band snap you because that is the direction that puts tension on those healing ligaments. And then what I'm going to do is turn my ankle out into eversion, which is going to strengthen those two fibularis or peroneal muscles, and then slowly let it come back in. So it goes in slowly, and then you're going to go back out. So the foot is sort of pointed and turning out. And this is going to strengthen again those peroneal muscles, which are the dynamic stabilizers of our lateral ankle. So this will start building strength and increasing stability on the outside of the ankle. So with this exercise, shoot for three sets of just repetitions to fatigue, you know, maybe somewhere in the 10, 10 to 20 range. Or if you start to get pain, then that's a good stopping point as well. This is really one of the best exercises to start with. Usually you can start this within just a few days after first having an ankle sprain. Okay, so that's our first exercise, a banded ankle eversion. For our second exercise, we're gonna look at ankle dorsiflexion mobility. Dorsiflexion is the ability of the ankle to move, it's the opposite of pointing your foot. So it's when this angle closes, this angle between my foot and my shin. This commonly becomes restricted after ankle sprains and we need to start working on this mobility early so that we don't lose it. So what you're gonna do is with the injured ankle in this position, you're going to push your knee forward until you feel tightness or pain kind of along the front of the ankle here. So just again, be careful with this one, just push to a point where there's no more than mild pain. And then what you're gonna do is kind of oscillate and just kind of hang out there and let it stretch. This is focused on stretching the joint and not a muscle. So you may feel it back here in your calf and Achilles tendon, but most people will feel it along the front of the ankle, which is where the joint line is. So you're gonna come forward, hang out here, stretch for 30 seconds. You can be up as long as two minutes. Joints often take a little bit more time to stretch longer than muscles. And then we need a break. Just come off of that position and then go back forward. What you want to try and do is shoot for doing this three to five times every day in the first uh, couple weeks after an ankle sprain again so you make sure you don't lose this dorsiflexion mobility okay that's our second exercise a dor kneeling dorsiflexion mobility stretch our last exercise for this acute ankle sprain video is going to be looking at single leg balance regaining balance and proprioception in the joint 
So what you're gonna do is start by just standing on the injured ankle, and that may be enough challenge right there. Now I'm kinda on a carpeted surface and a mat, so that adds a little bit of instability. You might wanna start on a really just solid surface, a hardwood floor or something like that. And then as this gets easier, you could add uh, things like different balance pads and things. But for right away, just for right in the beginning, just start standing on one leg. So this is gonna work on balance and that proprioceptive sense within the joint. As this becomes easier, we're gonna try a clock type of exercise where I'm gonna to reach to the different positions of the clock with my uninjured side. So that's gonna work on balance, mobility, and strength of this injured ankle. So what I'm gonna do is reach out to the front, then to the side, and then straight back. And the whole time I'm trying not to lose my balance. And I'm gonna work through that clock you know, maybe five to 10 times. So just kind of going through like this, and basically going up to 12 o'clock, out to nine o'clock, and then back to six o'clock. Those are sort of the pre three primary positions. So just taking your time, working through, working on your control. Often after ligament injuries like this, it negatively affects, affects joint proprioception, which is your joint position sense. So you may have a harder time balancing and controlling the ankle, but as you improve with this, your overall joint mobility will improve. Okay, so those are our three exercises for an acute ankle sprain. We're gonna go with a banded E version to strengthen the peroneal muscles and bring strength and stability to the outside of the ankle. Then a dorsiflexion mobility stretch so we don't lose that mobility. And then lastly, a functional balance and clock reaching exercise to restore proprioception. So again, these are exercises that would mainly occur in the first you know, one to three weeks. If you're past that point, I'll do a part two of this video that will look at more advanced exercises. So um, stay tuned for that video. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will get back to you. All right, you guys, see you next time. Bye.